Amen. Repent, live a lifestyle of holiness and righteousness. God bless you. Come out of sin, repent, believe the gospel. Repent, believe in the Lord Jesus, you shall be saved. Believe in the Lord Jesus, you shall be saved. Repent, come out of sin. What's our relationship with Christ? You must live for Christ. You must live for Christ, come out of sin. What again? God got Jesus. God bless you guys. Come out of sin. You guys got Christ. There you go. Got two for you and her. Come out of sin, repent, believe the gospel, come out of sin, repent, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you shall be saved. You must be born again and go to heaven. You must come out of sin. You must have a relationship with Christ, folks. You need Christ. Christ is coming back. We're in the end days. Repent and believe the gospel. Come out of sin. You must be a new creation in Christ Jesus. Let's come to Jesus, man. Put that silk filthy stuff down, bro. Be a man of God, bro. Don't be a pervert. Be a man of God. Come out of sin, folks. Come out of sin. Repent. You must be born again into the kingdom of heaven. You cannot go to heaven in this condition. This is a bad condition to die in. You don't want to die in sin. You don't want to die in fornication and drunkenness. You don't want to die in depression and suicidal thoughts. You don't want to die without Jesus Christ. That is the worst thing in the world to die without knowing Jesus Christ. Because if you died out Jesus Christ, you realize you, look, you wasted your life. You're wasting your life in Las Vegas, spending money, wasting money, making other people rich who are already rich enough. Because you don't know God. This is a problem with the world. You've forgotten God for pleasure. You traded God for bars and clubs and casinos. Some of you folks, your marriage is breaking apart. Your kids are depressed and you don't care because you're too busy living a lifestyle of sin. You don't got time to love your wife and love your kids because you'd rather stay at home and get drunk or you'd rather go to Las Vegas and forget about your problems. You don't want to deal with your problems while going to Christ. You want to run away to the gaming system and pornography, and all types of foolishness. And some of you folks, you're old enough to know better by now. You're 30, 40, 50 years old and still chasing pleasure. You need love, folks. You need fulfillment. You don't need temporary pleasures. It's a waste of time. Las Vegas is a waste of time. You need Christ. You don't need this stuff, folks. You need Christ. You need the Lord Jesus. You need the Lord. Not if you want the Lord. You need the Lord. It's a need. You need the Lord. Without the Lord, you don't have life. You're a walking dead person in sin. You're the walking dead. Without Jesus Christ, you don't have true love inside your heart. You don't have any true peace. You're seeking that in outside things. You're seeking something to gratify you temporary. Then it fades away. You go back to the same cycle of sin. Do you not understand, folks? You're under a delusion. Society of the world has you under a delusion. And you're paying for it. You're putting money into it. You're putting energy into it to just be deceived time and time again. And when will it end? When will you stop giving over to the devil? When will you stop giving a place to the devil and give a place to life to Jesus Christ? When will you give, a, when will you give your creator a chance? Because a lot of you folks, you have not given God a chance yet. You think you know it all, folks, but you don't know it all. If you have not read the Bible, you don't know anything. You don't have any true knowledge without the knowledge of God. Without the wisdom of heaven, you don't have any true wisdom. Because human wisdom is human wisdom is failed, folks. Human wisdom will not get you anywhere in this life. Human wisdom will get you confused. Human wisdom, you don't know what gender you are. That's human wisdom. But the wisdom of God is pure. The wisdom of God is pure, it's right, it's unchanging. God never changes, folks. God doesn't have to change because he's perfect. But us, since we're since we flawed, us as human beings, we have to change God's laws. To fit our, to fit our lifestyle of sin. All of mankind, most of mankind, you change the image of God into a lie to fit your own desires. It is all a lie. And God is calling you to come out from the lie and come to the truth of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ says he is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus says he is the truth. He's the only way to eternal life. No, it's no ally, no Buddha, no Krishna is going to save you from eternal hell because hell is under your feet. Some of your ancestors are in hell right now because they rejected Christ. But you don't have to be just like them. You can break the curse. You can be the person that leads your family to Christ. You can break that generational curse of witchcraft and poverty and sexual addictions and alcoholism, perversion. You can be that person to break that curse. It's not just far in the crowd into a pit of destruction. 
This is the pit you're going to, folks. Las Vegas is the giant pit of destruction. And if you don't go the other way, you're gonna find yourself in a very bad place on your deathbed. Because there is no rest in peace for the wicked. There's no rest in peace for sinners. There's no rest in peace for the wicked. You must be a saint of God. You must be righteous. You must have the righteousness of Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. You guys got Christ. You got Jesus. You guys need Jesus, folks. You need Jesus. The gospel is an urgent message. This message is in to save your soul. Praise the Lord. Jesus. Jesus, come out of sin. Repent, come out of sin. Repent, come out of sin. Come to the Lord. It's the time. Come on. You need him, man. You need him, man. You need him, man. You need him. You need Christ. You need the Lord. You need the Lord, guys. Um, you know, if there's children here, I would highly recommend to teach them to not be doing that. Jesus. A good way to stop is to repent. Jesus, Lord. Jesus, you man, come to the Lord. Come to the Lord, guys. Repent, come out of sin. Repent, come out of sin. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Repent, come out of sin. Be born again. You must be born again to go to the kingdom of heaven. You must be born again. God bless. Must be born again, man. Go to heaven, man. You need the Lord, bro. You need him, man. You need him. You need Jesus. Come to the Lord. Come out of sin. Must be born again. You need the Lord Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice. How you doing, Troy? Nettie, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Are you from here? Yeah. Oh, praise the Lord. Yeah, same. same. Praise the Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Try to come out here every Saturday. I come out here and preach. Well, I switch between um here and Fremont, so I'll go back okay. and forth. What time do you usually come? Uh, maybe like, well, at Fremont, I go around like 10. Huh? I stay out 10 to like maybe 3, 3 a.m. Okay. Here, I come around maybe like maybe around like 9 or 10. Stay yeah. out to like 2 or 3. So i be out here for a couple of hours just okay. evangelizing, just preaching. Yeah, um, praise God, you know. Yeah, praise the Lord, good. man. It's my first time coming out here doing like Oh, this, praise man. the Lord, man. It's yeah. beautiful, man. You definitely um, should be called. Got to be called to do it. Got to make yeah. sure get in character warfare man because when you start yeah. preaching the gospel on the front lines you know you're a target for the enemy so yeah. make sure you know have a strong prayer life make sure you're reading the bible always live in holiness man yeah. and you be you be straight man you be yeah. you be straight because uh, they don't they, the demons principalities they, they they see us right now but they can't do anything because you know all right we recovered yeah we're covered so yeah. but they will um try to discourage you from preaching of course that's crazy Yo. bro yesterday uh -huh. i was feeling that bro really i was feeling that yeah, yeah i'll tell you oh you can't do it or you're yeah. weak or god can't you yeah. all types of lies man all types of lies because it's, it's only by god's grace we can do this anyways because right. without without the grace of god none of us would be out here doing this so that's what i'm saying yeah yeah, so, me, yeah, I like you said Nettie? Yeah, Nettie. Nettie Troy. Troy, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, um, I have a YouTube. I'll sit on my card on me okay. real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Damn. Yeah, yeah, thank you, man. Okay, thank you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, awesome. Behold. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the QR code goes to my YouTube, so you scan it, go straight to my YouTube channel. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah, praise the Lord. Oh, oh, it's okay. Someone get that. Someone to see it. You guys got Christ, you got Jesus. Back. God bless you. Ooh. You got Jesus coming back. Repent, believe the gospel. Come out of sin. Come out of sin. Repent, come out of sin. Repent, come out of sin. Must be born again. Repent, come out of sin. Repent. Repent and come out of sin. Must come to Jesus. Must come to the Lord. Come to the Lord. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. You'll be seeing my face again. Okay. Is it Crystal? Yeah, Jesus, man. God bless, man. Let's got Jesus coming back. Let's go to the Lord. Repent, believe the gospel. Repent, believe the gospel. Must be born again to go to heaven. Let's come out of sin. Must be born again and go to heaven. Need the Lord Jesus, folks. Need the Lord. He's coming back. 
prepare to meet the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus, thank you, of sin. Jesus, guys, head of the Lord. God bless you, man. Praise coming back. Yes, sir. We're going to read this tonight. Praise the Lord. Amen. Train a child up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ladies got Christ. Christ. Also in Spanish too. And it's in Espanol. It's Espanol. Espanol. Got come out of saying God be born again. Dang is loud. You guys got the Lord Jesus coming back and repent, come out of sins, folks. Need the Lord. You gotta live for the Lord. You gotta live in holiness and righteousness. Jesus coming back. You gotta prepare to meet the Lord. Come out of sin. Wages of sin is death, folks. The wages of sin is death. And Jesus Christ can save you from death. Jesus Christ rose again the third day. He's resurrected, folks. Hallelujah. That's why we have resurrection day. Jesus Christ, folks, he's the Lord. He's the Lord and Savior. He's your Lord and Savior. Need to know the Lord. You need to know the Lord before you die. Don't die without knowing the Lord. Don't die without knowing who Jesus is, folks. Don't die without Jesus Christ. You know, it's, it's a shameful thing to die without Jesus Christ, folks. Don't die without Jesus. That's how you know that's a fail in life. Don't die without knowing who Jesus is, folks. Don't die without knowing Jesus. There's a lot of rich people in hell, folks. There's a lot of rich people in hell. There's a lot of beautiful people in hell. God doesn't care about your riches. He doesn't care about how you look. He cares about your heart. If your heart is not for God, you're not going to be with God when you die. You're going to be in hell with the transgressors, with all the rapists and pedophiles and everyone else who's rejected God. Everyone's going to be in the same pit in hell. You don't want to be down there, folks, because of your pride, your American pride. You don't need God, right? Everything's good and dandy. You have food, you have water, you have a nice job. You don't need Jesus Christ. That's something that's old, right? That's old time stuff. You don't need Jesus Christ. You got Fortnite. You got Call of Duty. You don't got time for Jesus. Yeah, folks, you're deceived. You're being deceived by the world. You're being deceived by politics and gaming systems and girls and stuff like that. You think you don't need Jesus, folks. You need to teach your kids right. You need, are they your kids? Are they your kids? Well, God has to lead you. God has to lead you. If God isn't leading you, folks, you're leading your kids to destruction. That's why you kid, that's why your parents bring your kids to Las Vegas, because you don't have any morals to teach your kids. See, adults in this generation, you don't know right from wrong. You take your kids to Las Vegas full of alcohol and half-naked women. What type of parent does that? A parent that doesn't know God. A parent that doesn't fear God either. You guys need to fear God and live for God. Without the fear of God, you won't depart from evil. And that's why you folks love sin, because you don't fear God. You fear the government more than you fear God. You fear the police more than you fear God. And that's terrible. Because God can destroy your body and soul in hell. God will destroy everything about you. God created you. And he's here offering that to you. Every single day, he's here offering you a relationship with him through the Holy Spirit. Jesus was real. He came how many years ago? 2020. Jesus, man, give you peace, man. You don't have to smoke no more, man. He was the only person to have died and come back to tell you what is on the other side. 
If the Lord God is coming back and repent and believe the gospel, repent from my sin, repent from Jesus. You need Jesus, folks. You're not good without Jesus. You're not good without Jesus. You're not good, man. You need the Lord. You need the Lord. You gotta, you gotta be born again. You gotta be born again, folks. You need the Lord. You need the Lord. It's about that time, man. It's time to get right with God, man. It's time to get right with the Lord. It's time to get right with the Lord, man. You gotta get right with the Lord. You gotta repent. You gotta be born again. You gotta be born again. You gotta, you gotta live for the Lord. You gotta have a new life. Be a new creature in Christ Jesus. Have a new heart, new mind, new attitude, all this stuff. It's good news, man. Good news. Espanol? You believe Spanish? Okay. One of these two? Or no? Okay. God bless you guys. Okay. Jesus now. Okay. All right. Make sure you're born again, man. Make sure you're born again. Hey, you got Jesus? All right, man. You got Jesus, man. Yeah, Jesus coming back. Yeah, Jesus coming back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know where you're going when you die? You know where you're going? Oh, okay. All right. Make sure you're walking in holiness and righteousness. Make sure you're walking in it. Hallelujah. Yeah, Jesus, repent. Be born again. God, come out of sin. Need the Lord Jesus. Must be born again. Yeah, Jesus, repent. Come out of sin. Yeah, Jesus, guys, coming back. You gotta be born again. You need the Lord. He says to be sober minded. He has put you here to share his love with the people around you. you got Jesus, you got Jesus coming back. You got Sometimes Jesus coming back. Going through hard times, going through tough things.